what kind of guy do you actually want in your life? Right. Because a lot of times, y'all, this how is this how crazy a lot of women are. You, you will describe this the type of man you, you want. Right. You'll get this type of man and still that won't be enough. After a six... I mean, okay, I say that I'm not pursuing a man because I just feel like men are pursuers. That's what they do. True. They're born to pursue. True. If you have to pursue a man, I don't feel like, I, I, I guess it kind of takes the, it sucks the thrill out of, not really sucks the thrill out of dating, see, but. But early I said something. See, the only thing, the only thing with that, the only, right. the only thing with that is you got to keep it across the board though. You can't pick and choose, okay, um, I want a man to pursue me. Because if you holding um, that expectation um, of that man pursuing you or a man pursuing you, then what if you what if you get that man that is pursuing you, but yet he looking at you as the ideal woman? Um, mm -hmm. All I want is a woman to cook and clean. Right. And maybe that's not what you want to do. Maybe you want to pursue your career much more versus right. cooking and cleaning. You understand what I'm saying? So you got to mm -hmm. be real, real careful of just about what you want. It's about what is needed, what y'all want. What are y'all looking for? Sure. So... <clears throat> That, that's another thing. As, as much as you can expect, you should be expected. Okay. So should we put the boundaries on it? Like, like for me, I don't know about for y'all. How is it for y'all? Like, will y'all, if you see a man that you're interested in, like he's fine, you're going to go up to him and be like. Hey. Like, I don't mind saying hi. I said, like, not a pursue, but if I see a man that looks really nice, if I go up there and just say hi, mm -hmm. and it automatically sparks the conversation and it leads to that, mm -hmm. I don't think I pursued it. I just think I just sparked up that conversation. Okay, but you went thing. and said hello with the intent that you know you, you, know you want to say something. See, the biggest, the, biggest the, biggest thing that you're, the biggest thing that you're fighting against is, is evolution. Things okay. evolve. Circumstances and, and, and ways evolve, you know? And like mm -hmm. I said, um, in today's world, that's why that wouldn't be that irregular because right. of how you guys communicate. Um, the youngest, the younger generations have a difficult time communicating. Y'all, um, y'all, y'all speaking, y'all, y'all speaking in pictures. Y'all not, y'all not going off, uh, y'all not going off energy. Yeah. See, when we were growing up and we were dating, it was about energy. It's about me being attracted to this woman or this female. Right. And then I, I get creative enough to spark a conversation. And then we continue on from there. And through that conversation, I find out exactly who she is and the same thing, vice versa. And then we go from step one, step two to step three. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Y'all already in step three because y'all done <laughs> communicated through pictures. Yeah, so yeah. by the time y'all see each other, you know what I'm saying? Like then the real emotions begin. But the real emotions is when you actually meet somebody. Mm -hmm. How a person smell? How's that eye color? How tall are they? Um, their complexion. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like you get to see. You, you won't get to see none of that. Teeth. 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 You know. So <clears throat> you just got you just got to be mindful. And one thing that you know I've always preached is uh, um, you you have to be able to know what you want clearly. Stop being vague. Oh, I got why. a question for you. But Okay, so say that, okay, say like you celebrate, right? You, you not have to say to the right? So do you think like you say that when y'all first have like a regular conversation, conversation right. a first date, like when do you bring that up? Or do you wait till they say something on those lines and then you say that? See, that, that's what you do. That, I, in my opinion, I think that's the best way. Um, like I tell you, because of evolution, things going to evolve. So as you continue to talk to somebody, the conversation is going to become more intense and, mm -hmm. and you're going to be able to identify when, okay, the conversation is leaning more towards being physical. And that's when you let it be known instantaneously. Hey, just to let you know, I am Sullivan. And he's going to run. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> hold, 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 hold. Oh, if he run, if he run, if he run, that means that you just weaved out the week, right? Because the because of because a guy that's gonna pursue you, not going to run. He's gonna find that as a challenge. You know what I'm saying? That ain't nothing but another thing for us to work for, in a sense. I feel 
like guys in this generation though, they don't really care to work because it's so easy. Like women is just out here throwing it. Like it's everywhere. Nah. It's everywhere. It's so easy for guys. So if you're like a I feel like guys don't want women of good standard anymore. Like they're right. not looking at like, oh, she's a really good person. She goes to church, you know, she loves God, she's family oriented. But she's this, she's that. Guys aren't looking at that kind but, of thing. But it anymore. ain't it ain't it, it isn't just that though. It it it, it isn't just Oh, because this girl does this, that, and the third, that makes her a good girl. Mm -hmm. It's uh, availability, um, vulnerability, you know what okay. I'm saying? And then just pure decision-making. See, another thing, y'all got to take the expectations off things. Y'all got to take okay. the extra boundaries off things and, and, and be more, like I tell you, just clear and concise and just understand what you want. Oh, I wish she didn't do this, but this is what you asked for initially. So right. then, okay, now you just recreated something else you want. So then, you know what I'm saying? Now... Um, the, the connection is being tampered with just just because of the way energy works. You know what I'm saying? You're yeah. not putting out what you was putting out. You know what I'm saying? The same thing vice versa. So with the reception, he's re not receiving what he was normally receiving. Therefore, his actions is going to um, be different and vice versa. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Men are um, indecisive as well because we're more physical creatures than women. Women are more emotional creatures typically. You know what I'm saying? So you're working purely off, okay, how is he feeding me emotionally? How is he making me feel? Like, am I feeling safe? Am I feeling comfortable? Is he supporting me? Um, do he care about my hair? Do he care about my nails? Do he care I'm wow. getting my education? Do he care that I'm working hard? Do he care that you know, these are all these things? All he's saying like, man, did you kiss me today? Man, did you touch me today? Man, you know what I'm saying? Did you cook something today? Man, I've been working all day. Man, say something. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's more of the guy, but if once you understand exactly what you want, this becomes easier. Um, the most difficult thing is maintaining. Um, <clears throat> I asked this question. It has something to do with money, but it actually has everything to do with just life in general. You know what I'm saying? What's harder? I'm going to ask y'all a question. Okay. What is harder? Mm -hmm. To get in a relationship or maintain a relationship? Maintain. maintain. So if you know it is, don't you think you got to be more clear and concise on what exactly you want so you can have an easier way to maintain it. Uh, yeah. Even though it's not going to be easy. It makes sense. But that's what makes it easier. Mm -hmm. okay. See, the object is to make it easier because trials and tribulations are going to happen regardless. Mm -hmm. um, perfect is, is an imperfection in itself the moment you think it. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. You can't say perfect. Perfect does not exist. Right. Because we're human. I just wish that we could have had that generation. Yes, for this generation. generation. Like, right. Like because it's, it's, it's kind of like easier there. for yeah. older, like they can, because, you know, they were pursuing then. They yeah. were doing all that stuff then, but the generation that we have now, I don't know what <laughs> this is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, And that's why I know that the men or the guy that I... <laughs> <laughs> Excuse us, <laughs> but the guy that I decide to be with has to be a man, oh, a man of right. strong standard. Because you see what I get from my parents, right? What makes you think right. that I can have a mediocre yeah. dude and just be okay with it, like right, right? Wow, and that's another thing. Like that still kind of plays with British childhood traumas, like yeah. what you see, see yeah, alternates your perspective mm -hmm. and unless you're like looking to see something different. Yeah. All the way, it definitely does. I know that. Coming from that, it, it's it's different for me. It's it's very different. Mm -hmm. Like I'm used to seeing my mother. Even women, they're not as submissive as as they used to be. Mm -hmm. Like they don't know how to submit to me. Oh, I see my mother good. submit. My mother's a strong woman, and she still oh, submits. Hey, hey, girl. Uh, hey, Maya. <laughs> but um, oh, yeah. yeah. Like I, my mother's a strong woman, but she still oh, submits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Women in this generation, do y'all feel like we submit? I well, do. I have a question for Dominique. Oh, okay. Because, <laughs> because, okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Dominique. Because since Dominique hasn't been like in like a relationship, really, she, I admit she talks to people, but she hasn't been in like a real relationship. So, like, how do you know what you want if you never had like. Uh, I wouldn't say a competition, but you never had exactly. something to compare it to. Like, I don't want this or I don't want that. Like, how do you? Well, one is like seeing what I saw growing up. 
-hmm. and knowing that I want like, you know, on the line. this or I don't want yeah. that, you know, taking pieces from that one. Child. Then two, mm -hmm. <laughs> like being secure in my own identity and knowing my worth again, like I yeah. said, going back to knowing your identity and your worth and what God wants for you, what he's showing you like you want for yourself. So mm -hmm. it's like, okay, I know my standards and I know what I will accept and what I want to accept. So, Chrissy said, like that. Oh, that's yeah. me. Chrissy said exactly why she married. She's married to an older man. Huh. Oh, facts. facts. So, oh, young oh, men do not forty <laughs> and up, right? <laughs> 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 But I see you have like men in your life that are like mentors that mm -hmm. are married, or you have you you have to have a circle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Maya said you she's do. not willing to submit to a man until I find a man worthy of me submitting to. Okay, yeah. come on, two snaps and a clap. Yeah. Boop, boop. It's a forty-year-old man that ain't got their life right too, so age don't mean a whole lot. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's true. Very true. Older oh, man. That's true. But I just need to know how you were raised. Women, yeah, it's how it's you were raised. So this person too. How were you raised? That's mm -hmm. a big thing too. If that man ain't opening your door. But I guess that's that's why first day right. open your legs. And I see my oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> there you have it. I'm not doing that, but well it is. Well it is. Well, it is. Well, it is. Well, it is. Go home. Go all the way home. I'm so weak. She had but, today. It's okay. I'm sorry. but yeah, um, what was I about to say? But uh, yeah, like the men in our generation, they don't even they don't even take the time to like open, open doors. doors. In this generation? What? Open doors, like we going on a date, like you not gonna. I'm just sitting there, right? Because my dad opens my door, and I'm just sitting here. Oh, don't worry about it, sir. I'm gonna drive my own car next time. You know, matter of fact, it won't be. Like, you ain't got right. work right. about me. Ever again. Right. At all. At all. <laughs> because clearly, and how men treat their mothers is very important to life. Yeah, it is. You don't respect But, them. but, I can't but do listen, with, like, I actually mm -hmm. went to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mm -hmm. actually went to, like, um the conference that I went to maybe, like, maybe three, four, like, four months ago with Peter. Mm -hmm. And the lady was saying how that really don't make a difference because she said, the way that his mom raised him, they don't have a good relationship at all, but he respects her to like a T, like he's a very great, she said, my husband is the awesome husband. Aww. So it's kind of like. So like his experience is kind of like dope to me. Yeah. Okay. So it's like, I don't think that all the time how they treat their mm -hmm. mom will affect you. I mean, A C D E. Oh, we're missing me tonight. All right. Right. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Bye. Yo, guys. Bye, class. Dang, how many viewers do we have? A lot. Oh.